Welcome to the She Build Show. I'm your host, Stephanie Olson, a licensed general contractor who builds new construction, renovates, and designs your vision. Today, more than ever, we need raw, authentic women who are willing to rise above society's norms, break those glass ceilings, and encourage each other to boldly build the life we were meant to live. So honey, what are you building? Welcome to the She Build Show. I hope you're having just an incredible week. I want to share with you kind of what I experienced last week, and hopefully this just speaks to you. So I was out of town last week in Mexico. We went on a mission trip with our church and brought our entire family. The mission was with YWAM, and we went to build a house for our family just in desperate need of a home. So the first year I went to Mexico for my spring break, I think I was in sixth or seventh grade. And I continued because it impacted me so significantly. I continued every year through high school, going on my spring break and building homes. It was the most impactful thing in my life, serving others and gaining perspective. And maybe that's just where my love of building came from. Now, I've waited a really long time, like 10 years, for my kids to be old enough to be able to take them. And a few months back when I saw the mission going to Mexico at church, I immediately signed my entire family up. Now, there were no other people in our church that were bringing their children. So I was a little nervous, but I got all of our passports and I just prayed it was the right decision. Now, the protective mother part of me was worried. I was worried about the safety of my kids. Would I be able to help work hard? And will my kids be okay? Will they be safe? I mean, all these things were running through my mind, but I gave God those worries. And we loaded up at 3.30 in the morning and drove to the airport last week. And along the way, we found out that our team of 30 people, our flight was canceled. So we drove to the airport anyway. We were supposed to fly into San Diego, but our pastor was able to get us a flight into Orange County, which is about another hour and a half from San Diego. And so we got on that flight and then we landed and we drove about six hours to Vicente Guerrera. Now, if you have never experienced Mexico or a third world country, it's a different world. There's dirt roads, there's trash everywhere. There's no electricity, no running, flushing toilets. There's no heat, there's no air conditioning, and there are dogs, pregnant dogs everywhere. I wanted my kids to gain gratitude and perspective. It's one thing for me to tell my children, be grateful for the clothes and shoes and the food you have. And it's another thing for me to show them, to show them somebody who doesn't have any of those things and is still happy and full of life. So our team showed up a little tired Monday morning, but ready to work. We were building a house for a young girl, about 18, and her husband, who is about 20, I think. They already have a two-year-old son, and she's pregnant. Their current house consisted of a dirt floor, cardboard boxes that were then wrapped with plastic and held together by bicycle tires. Now, the young boy's mother, her name was Margarita, she also lived on the same plot of land with her six children. She had lost her husband about eight years ago. And so the only income they bring in is from the young pregnant mother and her husband who work in the strawberry fields, picking strawberries for Driscoll's. They make about $12 every day. That's their life. And they are completely happy and kind and grateful. And so I just went and I turned off my phone and I just wanted to be present. I helped build the walls. I built the roof. I put up roof sheeting. And I watched my children come and work with me and then go play. Come and work with me and then go play. I watched them communicate with other children that that don't speak the same language, but they could meet each other at fun. Do you know what I mean? They played tag, they jump rope, and they just laughed. I watched my son take the $2 that someone on our team gave him to buy toys at the market and give it to a man who needed surgery on his feet. He just donated his money. I've never seen him do that. I watched my daughter serve food to people in a village who just needed a good meal. And she did it with a smile. 
Now, my biggest takeaway and lesson learned is the reminder that when we serve and we give of ourselves, we actually get so much more in return. When our focus is on putting more good into the world than just giving with our time or talents, we actually feel revived. Our perspectives and priorities change. We get back to our purpose, our reason. So I want to ask you, when's the last time you donated your time? I'm not talking about throwing money in the hat of the guy on the street. When is the last time you got face to face with someone who needed your help? When was the last time you served a hot meal to a family or friend who just needed you to listen? When was the last time you put your phone down for a week and got present and just stayed in the moment? When was the last time you felt true gratitude for all you encounter? Man, I missed going to Mexico more than I realized. Because deep down, I have a servant's heart. I think we all do. But it just gets calloused and bruised over through life and the experiences that we encounter. Now, I used to express that heart and I would lead with it before kids and life and work and paying bills got in the way. I used to volunteer in children's ministry at my church. I went on a trip to Uganda to serve in an orphanage. I organized an entire bike ride across the United States to raise money for that orphanage. What happened? Where did it go? Where did my heart for service go? (laughs) I think it disappeared into my phone and my emails and my business and employees and children and dinner and horses and dogs and a clean house and new shoes and marriage and dishes and just life. I forgot how much serving others brings meaning to my life. I will not forget anymore. I want my kids to carry the attitude and perspective that compassion can fill their hearts when they are met with someone who needs help. I don't want to teach them callousness. So my encouragement to you is to start small. Say something kind to a random person today or do something big and sign up for that mission trip or volunteer where you feel called. Fill your mind with gratitude And sweetheart, put down that phone and get on the ground and play with your kids. I know that we cannot take anything with us in this life. And if there's one thing I want to be remembered for is because I put good into the world. And if at the very least, I taught my children to put good into the world. So just wanted to share that with you today. The perspective that changes when you go and serve. And how much more I actually gained by giving up myself. So may your day be filled with all green lights, my love. Have a beautiful day. Thanks for joining me today on the She Build Show. My name is Stephanie Olson. My hope is that this episode leaves you feeling empowered and ready to boldly take that step into building the life that you envision. One, two by four at a time. And if you can do me a quick favor, please leave me a five-star review on iTunes. I get giddy over reading the reviews each week, and I will choose one special person to win some SheBuild swag. Make sure you add your name to the review, and I'll reach out if you're the winner. Thanks again for hanging out. Be sure to visit me at theshebuildshow.com, where you can ask me questions and share with me what you're building.